It's been a long time, friends, and we have been very busy. But to make up for lost time, we've decided to share a portion of our video series for Teams Calling with you. We've compiled 10 of our 47 videos for this series and packaged them up for you here on YouTube. Without further ado, let's dive into your sample of Microsoft Teams Calling. Microsoft Teams uses its own unique phone system that is integrated into your cloud experience, allowing you to make calls to your colleagues within the organization using the internet, unlike a traditional phone call. All calls placed from a Teams phone to a Teams phone are completed using Microsoft's phone system technology. Public Switched Telephone Network, or PSTN calling, uses dedicated lines through circuit-switched transmission between two points to connect, similar to what we know of landline calls. In order to place calls or receive calls from external callers outside of your organization, your company must enable a PSTN calling plan. When enabled, you'll receive a unique 10-digit phone number specific to you, associated with your team's environment. With PSTN calling, you can call locally or long distance if your organization permits it. Prior to completing a long distance call, it's best to review any calling policies or procedures your organization has in place. To access your team's phone and calling features, select the Calls Application view from the Navigation pane. The Calls Application is divided into two tabs, the Phone tab and the Contacts tab. The Phone tab offers you a field as well as a dial pad to place calls either internally or externally. Your assigned work phone number is on display here for your reference. If call parking has been enabled in your environment, you can use the Parked Call button to pick up a call that's been parked for you. Through the center of the screen, you're going to see your shared lines, which will display the colleagues who have delegated their calls to you or those who are supporting you as a call delegate. Below that is your call history, which will show incoming calls you have received, all outgoing calls that you have placed, as well as calls that you have missed, which will display in red. These tabs allow you to filter your historic calls by specific call types, or you can access voicemails that were left for you if you have missed a call. This filter allows you to locate a specific username or phone number. You can add important users to your speed dial, which allows you to quickly create audio or video calls. In the bottom left, you have some quick links to your call forwarding options and device settings. The Contacts tab is like your virtual phone book, which allows you to add internal contacts as well as external contacts from outside of your organization. We will explore all of these calling tools and features in the upcoming videos throughout this series. You can place outgoing calls in a number of ways in Teams. When placing a call from the Calls Application view, you can use the field provided here. Type the name of an internal colleague or an external colleague that is a guest in your Teams environment. When they've been located, select them. If you're calling a mobile or landline telephone number, type the complete phone number in this field. You can also place a group call by adding multiple colleagues' names or by adding additional phone numbers in the field. When you're ready to begin your call, use the Call button. If preferred, you can use this dial pad to dial the phone number. If you've added a user to your speed dial or if they appear in your other contacts menu, you can hover over their profile and select the phone receiver or video camera icon to begin an audio or video call. Don't forget, you can use the call history section to redial a phone number or return a missed call. 
hover over the user and select the call button. If you're in the Contacts tab, you can use the phone receiver or video camera icon to begin an audio or video call from here. Lastly, from any location and at any time, you can place a telephone call from your search and command bar. Type forward slash call. Now hit tab. Type the name of the internal colleague or guest in one of your team's workspaces. When they've been located in Teams, choose Enter or select their name off the list to begin dialing the user. You can also type a complete phone number in this field if you are making an external call to a mobile or landline and this is your preferred method of beginning a call. This is your active call, which will open after you place an outgoing call or answer an incoming call. You can select the window and drag it around your screen to reposition it, or click and drag the sides of the window to resize it on your screen. You can use this icon to make the call window full screen. The name of the internal colleague or phone number of the external party will appear here along the top of the call window. If this is a group call, you will see multiple names or phone numbers here. Your call timer is available here, regardless of the call type. It will track how long you've been on this call for. Your in-call controls are accessible here and will change based on the type of call you are in. A call with an external party, a call with an internal colleague, or a group call of three or more participants. We will explore all in-call controls in the upcoming videos in the series. Through the center of the screen is the Call Participants window, where you can see the profile icon of the caller or callers that are in this call with you. If this is an internal or group call and content is being shared, it will be visible in this section. To minimize the calling window, you can select this icon. Click the small box to make it full screen again. To end your call, you can select the Leave button. You can transfer your caller to another user if needed. This method is considered a cold transfer. With your in-progress call window open, select the ellipsis to access more options and choose Transfer. The call will be placed on hold and the transfer window will open. To transfer internally, begin typing the name of your colleague in this field and select them when they've been found. If your organization has enabled PSTN calling, you can transfer externally by typing the 10-digit phone number in this field. Use this toggle if you would like the call sent back to you if the party you're transferring to does not answer. If this is an internal transfer, you can select the Transfer drop-down menu if you'd like to transfer the call directly to someone's work voicemail. Select the Transfer button to complete your transfer. The call will be transferred and the window will close on its own when the call is answered by the other user or their voicemail. If you have toggled on the Ring Back feature, if the call is unanswered, it will return to you with a banner on top of the pop-up, indicating the transferred party could not be reached. You can resume the call by selecting the Answer button on the pop-up, or use the Resume button in your call window. You can communicate with a party prior to completing a transfer to them. This method of transferring is considered a warm transfer. With your in-progress call window open, select the ellipsis and choose Consult then Transfer. The call will be placed on hold and the caller will hear hold music. The Consult window will open. To transfer internally, begin typing the name of your colleague in this field and select them when they've been found. After choosing your party, your consult options become available. You can consult via instant message chat or by audio call.
If you choose to connect via chat, a popped-out chat window will appear on your screen. You can begin typing a message to your colleague, which can include any information they'll require to assist the caller. If the consulting party is ready to take over the call, you can select the Transfer button to complete your transfer. If the consulting party is not ready to take over the call, you can use the drop-down menu to transfer the caller directly to the user's work voicemail. Once you select the Transfer button or Work Voicemail button, your transfer will be completed. If you prefer to speak to the colleague, use the drop-down menu and select Teams Audio Call. A new popped-out call window will appear, allowing you to converse with the colleague. If the colleague is ready to take over the call, select the Transfer button to merge the caller with your colleague and automatically remove yourself from the call. If the colleague is not taking over the call, choose Leave to end the consulting session and select the Resume icon to continue speaking with the caller. If you'd like, when consulting using an audio call, you can merge the calls together before removing yourself. When the consulting party is ready for the call, select the ellipsis and choose Merge Call. When the Merge window opens, select the Merge button to complete the call merge. Now you and both parties are on the line together. The Merge Call feature allows you to transition this caller from your line onto your colleague's line before removing yourself from the call using the Leave button. If needed, you can warm transfer to an external mobile or landline. After selecting Consult and Transfer, type the complete phone number in the field. Only the audio option is available when sending a call outside of your organization, so select the Consult button to initiate the transfer. The Consult and Transfer feature can be used for more than just warm transferring calls to others. When consulting with an internal colleague, you can also share your desktop or a window with your consulting colleague. This means they can access your device to help point out important information, help you complete an action, or even key in an override or authorization code. Whether you're consulting with an internal colleague via chat or audio call, choose the Share icon to begin sharing your desktop or window. From the Share Content pane, choose if you'd like to share your entire desktop or just a specific window you currently have open on your desktop. Click the item you'd like to share. When sharing content in a consultation call or chat, a Teams meeting space will open to facilitate the share. This means you can grant permission to a user or allow and accept a user who has requested permission to take control of your screen in the same manner you would in a Teams meeting. To access your customizable call settings and to manage your calling preferences, select the ellipsis beside your profile icon. Now choose Settings. Select the Calls tab. This section allows you to customize your call answering rules which allows you to choose where the call rings and how long it rings for, as well as what happens if a call is unanswered. You can also access and manage call forwarding options for your incoming calls. You can access and manage your voicemail settings through the Configure Voicemail button. We will explore all of the voicemail features and options in the next section of the video series. You can listen to and update your ringtones for various incoming call types, enable a TTY device from this section, as well as manage call cues you've been assigned to. We will explore all of these customizable features in the upcoming videos and sections of the series. You can set up and manage your call answer rules that will determine how the call is handled once it reaches your voicemail. To access and select your call answer rules, choose Configure Voicemail to access the voicemail settings. Use the drop-down menu under Call Answer Rules to explore your options.
Let the caller record a message is the default setting. It will play your voicemail greeting and allow the caller to leave a voice message when they're prompted. You can also choose let the caller record a message or be transferred to someone else. After your personal voicemail message plays, the caller will have the option to leave a voicemail or they can press zero to be transferred elsewhere. When selected from the dropdown, you must enter a colleague's name by typing it in the field provided. You can also key in a phone number, such as a main office line if your organization has one. PSTN calling must be enabled in order for you to key in a numerical phone number. To remove this user or phone number in the future, revisit this screen and press the X. If you'd like, you can also choose End the Call Without Playing Your Greeting. This is helpful if you do not want your voicemail recording to play and you do not want callers to be able to leave a message. You also have the option to play your greeting and end the call if you want the caller to hear your personal greeting but do not want the callers to be able to leave a message. Lastly, you can choose transfer the call to someone else if you would like the caller to hear your recorded greeting and then be automatically transferred to a new line or user without being able to leave a message. If you select this option, you must enter a colleague's name by typing it in the field provided or you can key in a numerical phone number such as a main office line if your organization has one. PSTN calling must be enabled in order for you to key in a numerical phone number. To remove this user or phone number, press the X. If you have made any changes to your voicemail's call answer rules, you must select OK to apply these changes. A delegate in Microsoft Teams is an internal colleague who can help support you when it comes to telephone calls. Based on the permission you provide, a delegate can make calls on your behalf, receive calls on your behalf, manage your call answer options, and manage other call delegates for you. At this time, delegates in Microsoft Teams cannot manage any other area of your team's environment on your behalf. To access delegates, select the ellipsis beside your profile icon and choose Settings. From the General tab, scroll down and choose Manage Delegates. From here, you can use these tabs first to view the permission given to you by those you support, or use this tab to manage your own call delegates. You can manage when you're available to take calls from a queue you've been assigned to and when you are not. Select the ellipsis beside your profile icon and choose Settings. Now select the Calls tab. Scroll down to the listing of queues that you've been assigned to. The toggle beside a queue is going to manage when calls from that specific queue are directed to you. Toggle it to the off position to prevent calls from this queue from being directed to you. To learn more about Teams Calling, you can purchase the full 47 video course for yourself on Udemy or visit us online to purchase or customize the course for your whole organization. Thanks for watching and have a productive workday.